Welcome back to my channel, man. It's your boy out west. And in today's story time, we're going to be talking about the time I returned a two year old, or however old she was, little girl home safe. She was lost. So, story time take place. I mean, we'll start off upside my neighborhood type shit. Out west, she was up over here. It was me and my nephew. We was playing cans. And I was busting his ass over here in Kansas or whatever, like, and then my homie Lua called me. He all oh, we'll come to my crib play Kansas. He live all the way over on the south. So we got in the car. After I about to beat nephew, we got in the car or whatever. We had the Kansas basketball. He drove over to his crib. And then we got there type shit. We just chopped up a little bit and he had rolled up. While he was rolling up, he was about to start smoking or whatever type shit. So then me and nephew was playing cans already, like, and then he he smoked or whatever. And then he got on the cans. And then when he got on the cans, type shit, we played, you played, you was going back and forth, or whatever type shit. We had played probably, I'd say probably three or four games type shit. And then when we had did that, nigga, at some point in the middle of us playing cans, he turned around and said some, some, something, uh, that little girl inside of construction. I'm like, what you mean that little girl inside construction? Like, what? I'm like, I'm lost. Cause I'm like, nigga, I don't see no little girl. Like, he over there in the construction. I'm like, man, you tweaking, boy. You high as hell right now. Like, you tweaking for us. Like, you want some nut shit. You don't, ain't no little girl over there. Then my nephew's like, nigga, right there. The little girl right there. I'm looking at her. I'm like, fuck, I don't see no little. I'm looking. Dead nigga. Right? I'm, I don't see shit. I can't see. I'm squinting this much. Shit. I'm like, I can't see nothing. I don't see no little girl. Y'all niggas tweaking. Like, and I looked again one last time. And I seen her. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, and then, like, nigga, and remind y'all, for it's like, it's like 8 o'clock, for it's like getting dark around 8, so it's like 8, almost then, it's 8, probably like 8.20, it's getting dark. So, like, when I see the little girl type shit, the first thing, these two niggas decide to do nephew and Lloyd, they like, oh shit, we gone type shit, like, I'm like, y'all gone, where y'all about to go? Like, they talking about us, oh shit, shit. Uh, we the only one for Zaire type shit, all this, this, and that. We gone type shit. I'm like, no, we not gone. What the fuck wrong with y'all? Nigga, y'all about to just leave a two-year-old out here type shit in the night gone for. It's about to get dark. I'm telling what the fuck about to happen. So, like, so I had went up over there right by her type shit. She's talking about some mommy, my boy. Well, technically, I ain't go by her. She saw us type shit, and she ran over towards us. So, like, so like she, cause she ain't seen nobody. She saw us. She ran towards us type shit. And when she ran towards us, she talking about some mommy, mommy. And he's talking about some home, home, and this and that. I'm like, oh shit. And then Lord talking about he not getting the ball. Then he's like, oh shit, we gone. I'm like, I'm not, I'm not, I'm like y'all niggas too. I'm not about to leave no two year old. It's about to get dark time. She in the damn night gone. No coat, no shoes, no socks. Just out there type shit. Like, so I started walking with her or whatever type. She talking about some home, home, and she pointing up in one direction or whatever type shit. But like the way that she entered the construction, she entered, she entered, she entered the construction through the right side of the road. But her crib was like was going forward, like 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 up the street type shit. So so she was leading the way type. Shit. I was basically following her to her crib type shit. And then when I followed her towards like the, I think we got got right by like the driveway. I seen I seen like a back gate open. So I'm looking like all right. So like this had to be her crib or whatever. Like so she went through the back gate. I stayed at the gate because. I don't want to try to get shot or no crazy shit. Or nobody trying to assume me, trying to rob them or no shit like that. Cause little baby was white type shit. And I don't know how her parents is. So I stayed at the gate. So she went to the back. And I went, when she did that, I went to the front to knock on the door. And then she came back around. I bought at the gate and she came back around to the front. I'm knocking on the door, knocking on the door. They dog barking, barking, barking. And her sister came down. Her sister came down. She looking at me all crazy and shit, like, while I'm doing in front of your crib or whatever, like, and then she finally came to the door. I'm like, yo, is this your little sister? And then she said, oh, my God. Said her name or whatever type shit. And then she had, and she had hurry up, try to open up the door or whatever type shit. But the whole time, the dog, the dog on her ass, like, the dog, like, right next to her leg, and she trying to crack the door open. Her dumb ass should have put the dog up first, but she didn't. So she cracked the door open right for the little girl to come in. The dog came bailing out like the dog came footing it. I'm like, oh shit. I stopped moving. Then when the dog got out, she hurried up and got the little girl, put the little girl inside. And now she trying to get the dog back in the house. The dog fucking named Lulu and shit. This motherfucker, he ran all out up to the construction. As soon as he got out, Lord and nephew, they, they running right back towards Bell City, gone. 
putting it. I'm like, fuck. Now I'm sitting out here, this damn dog barking at me and shit. He running up on me, barking at me and shit, trying to bite me and shit. I'm putting my hands up. I'm trying not to look like a threat type shit. I walk up out they love, they love, they love uh, front yard or whatever. And the dog, he had ran like up the street something like, like, like he ain't run towards nephew and Lord or where he ran, he ran the opposite way. And then I started walking towards them. And as soon as this one other lady, she had came out and she had tried to help with the little girl, whatever type shit, she, she, she asked me if, uh, if I found the crib or whatever type shit. And I was like, yeah, I found the crib type shit. And as soon as the dog just noticed her, he got the bailing back up the street, got the, he got the coming towards the bell. I was like, oh shit, y'all better run. He coming like on me. And then like, and then she had, and then she had, she had heard and got the fuck on about her business. And then like, as the dog coming up the street towards them, he see me walking still. So he want to come jump his ass on the side, walk and try to come bite at me and come bark at me. And her, uh, and the damn dog on the time about some Lulu, get back here. Lulu, come here. I, I'm talking about me. I'm, I mean, I'm jacking to the dog. I'm like, Lulu, you better get your ass on. We get stumped out over here on me, nigga. We not in your front yard no more. You come up, you come and reach out to bite me for I'm for the stomp your ass out. You better go on somewhere, Lulu. You better listen to your owner. I got yelling at the dog type shit. And he got, he got, he fell back. He went towards the owner type shit. She got the dog in the crib. And then up after that, uh, we had went right back to Lord Crib, played some more games of cans, and that was it. True shit. But still, though, like, more of the story is, man, make sure your doors is locked. Because, on um, bro, the sister ain't know the little girl was outside. The mama ain't know the little, the little girl was outside. And we just like, what the fuck? And then on top of that, we didn't see her come like past. We we didn't see her come past us or no shit like that. Like we saw her come right from like the right side. So the only other way how she could come right from the right side is if she walked all the way around from the other side of the crib. If she walked all the way around the block and came back through, cause we didn't see her on the corner right from the left side of where she is. We saw her enter right from the right side. So she had to either cut through an alleyway on the other side of the crib or walk all the way around the block. And then she seen us, and then she ran by us type shit. All I know, man, that's it for the story time, man. I helped the little girl make it home safe before it got too dark. And that's basically it, man. So, yeah, that's story time. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Share the video if you want to, man, on all platforms, you feel me? And, yeah, man, I'm gone. Out West Out. Peace. Also, one more thing. Up in, up inside of these clips that you guys gonna see, that's not me talking. That's my nephew talking. So he get the he get the talk. He get the sounding crazy, whatever. That's not me talking. I'm just getting y'all a little disclosure. That's not me talking. That's my nephew talking. All right, I'm going for real this time. Peace. We got proof. She ran away. Police, if you watching them, and I, yes, this baby don't know where she at. So I'm getting this on the recording so the police come. I got my video. I didn't have no part of this shit. This girl is just lost. <laughs> oh. What the fuck she is up? Why is she running away? She just pointed. She don't know where she's going. We might have to dump her ass and lost her fountain. Is it? Too